Hi, Charbucks. Let me guess. You miss your homeland. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Swiss Pavilion. So now, uh, first of all, I'm Mazen from Communication and PR team. Uh, and we will go on a tour, a Swiss tour for the Swiss Pavilion. Are you ready? All right. Let's go. So um, this is a big reflection of the Swiss flag right here. Exactly. So here it is our first act where uh, we will show the red carpet. We unfold our red carpets to wait our, uh, for our guests. And as we can see here, we can see a Swiss flag and the reflection of the Swiss flag and Switzerland on the architectural facade. And uh, the title of our pavilion is Reflections. So as we can see, it reflects all the people getting inside and it, it reflects as well the Swiss flag. And uh, these uh, umbrellas have all kinds of uh, cheese. And exactly, it stuff. is cheese, it is Swiss cross, it is like... Chocolate? Also chocolate and mountains. So and we tennis? need to showcase... Yeah. No, not tennis. Okay. <laughs> we need to showcase uh, more Swiss vibes, so we bring the umbrellas, umbrellas all the way from Switzerland to here to Dubai. First, it can be used as umbrellas to protect from the sun. And second of all, it is nice for picture purposes and as we can see it on the reflection. And uh, how do you say Switzerland in Arabic? Swissra. Ahla wa sahla fikum bi Swissra. Swissra. Yes. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go, go inside. inside. So you have a busy pavilion, right? Mm, exactly. Everyone is willing to see the Swiss pavilion and get to know more about our innovation ingredients and get to know especially about the mountains, cheese and chocolate. Okay, let's go and have a taste. Are you ready to get inside the crystal cave? Right. Also, we all know our main partner, Rolex. It's, uh, it's exactly the, the right time, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay, exactly. Good. With Rolex, you are too accurate. So now we are here in the crystal cave. Here what's meant to be calm after our red carpet because we will have that choice. We'll have the right luxury of choosing between two options, either to hike the mountains of Switzerland through the sea of fog or use the electric cable car to also reach the peak, but for a premium experience, definitely we'll be hiking. All right, is my camera going to survive this? Uh, of course, yes. of course. Okay, we have day of the open <laughs> door. Okay. Can go in. Are you ready to hike? Yeah, let's go. Hiking shoes on, let's go. All right. So here, as you can see the Swiss fog, and as you can see the sound of nature, I want you to feel the humidity. Does it feel like home? Wow. Who's screaming? <laughs> People are so interested to climb the mountains of Switzerland. Yeah. So it's a real climb? Exactly, exactly. We're having a hiking trip all the way to the Swiss mountains. Sometimes in Switzerland there are storms. We're having a storm right Is now. Is it gonna rain now? We're having a storm. Are we gonna get wet? All right. We are providing you with the premium Swiss mountains experience. So tell me, you missed hiking? Oh yeah, this is fantastic. It's good for health to do some hiking and How get to the top to of the mountains. How it feels to hike mountains in Dubai? Yeah. Uh, I, yesterday I climbed the Burj Khalifa. Oh nice. That was pretty nice. high. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but Keeping with the elevator. <laughs> All right. So now here? We have a time lapse of 24 hours and 7 minutes where we will show uh, yeah. the view from Swiss mountains. It is all the way from sunset to sunrise. We can watch it together. All right. How long is the whole cycle? It is 7 minutes. Okay, that's nice. It feels cold at night. Yeah. Oh. Well, um, all right, uh, who made all this? What's the design designers here? Okay, so uh, the designer is group architecture designer of OSS. Okay, and uh, the designer name is Ivan. Ivan. So Amazing shall we rise and try and continue? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So now we're heading to the second, to the third exhibition, which is our main partner, Schindler. So now we'll get to know more about Schindler, which is known for the innovation and technology of elevators and, uh, and escalators. I'm asking you a question. Have you been to the escalator of Jungfrau? Oh yeah. 
It is 103 meters high and it is designed and built by Schindler. And as wow. we can see here, uh, like the movement between the cities and the mountains and here we have QR codes that will show different augmented reality filters for Instagram that will show you different projects of Schindler. best elevators in the world, right? Exactly. Is it the one used in Burj Khalifa? It is. It and is actually? As a fact? The fast one? It is. And as a fact, they, they elevate 1.5 billion travelers per day. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. It is. All it right. is. And here also, the elevators here are used for uh, people of determination yeah. Yeah. to provide them with the perfect tour that they deserve. I hope uh, Switzerland takes care of the people with their determination in a, yeah. in a nice way, not just at the expo. All right, so shall we go with the escalator? Or exactly, the we go to the escalator yeah. and here uh, we'll get to know why Switzerland is the most innovative country in the world. Okay, let's go down the escalator. Um, so, do you do a lot of uh, tours with people every day? Exactly. Uh, we are a team of communication and guest relation that will make sure to give you the premium Swiss experience so you live the Swiss journey in Dubai. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's our time to, to shine now. My colleague Mazen and I are going to show you Swiss innovation. Follow us. Please introduce yourself. My name is Dan Tidorini. I'm project manager here at the Swiss Pavilion. And I'm here to showcase that Switzerland is the most innovative nation in the world. So this is the elevator down to the caves? Exactly. So you saw before the nice, beautiful landslides, the beautiful sights of Switzerland, the mountains. But here, we're going to show you what not a lot of people know, is that Switzerland is the most innovative countries in the world. Why? This is the question. Well, let us show you this. It all starts here. You see, we have innovation is like a recipe. Innovation is made of different ingredients. It's made of, of high quality universities, good infrastructure. It's also made of the lifestyle, the life quality, which must be, must be very high. And here within these fountains, you can see these different ingredients. For example, this represents our universities. And the drops that you see, it represents that each and every drop counts when it comes to innovation. So this is about our universities. This is about social justice and peace in Switzerland, which is also a very important ingredient. And all of these ingredients mix up for a recipe, which is innovation. So there's much more than uh, chocolate and cheese and uh, exactly, and exactly. Watches. Absolutely, and this is what we're trying to showcase here in this space. And we actually have a temporary exhibit on waste. And this is also one reason why we want to showcase this. Because, of course, Switzerland is good at recycling, but we're also a big polluter in terms of, of waste generation per capita, one of the highest in the world. And so together we're trying to change this. We're trying to showcase how we can together find some solutions to live in a more sustainable world. Follow me, I'll, yeah. I'll show this. To you. So it all starts here. We're showcasing here wastes. Now look at wastes from the angle of the letters. See, we start with W. W stands for wealth. So this is what we're showcasing here. That within smartphones here, they all contain one part, a small amount of gold per smartphone. So we're trying to put this forward in terms, in terms of waste, not being just something you just dispose of, but something which has value. Well, this Why is can't you just take all this gold back and put it in a bank from the disposed smartphones? Well, that's the thing. It's very expensive for us to do so. And so this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to raise awareness for us to use technology, to use manpower, to use education for us to manage this waste and convince people that it's worth investing into treating this waste. Follow me. I'll also show you something else. Not everything is as gold and shiny in the Swiss Pavilion. As you can see, we also use actual waste to showcase that it's okay to have waste in your pavilions. You see, it's okay to showcase this because what we can do is turn this waste 
into fashion, into cloth, into, into different elements. So this is what we're trying to showcase here. It's happening. It's happening as, well, as we speak, yes. This is a waste that we're, we're trying to reuse. Let me show, show you something quite cool too. So we, we went through W for wealth, we went through A for art, and now we're going to S for sustainability. Follow me. This is S for sustainability. This shows a compost system whereby we have actual worms, which are then able to process organic wastes and they're able to then produce soil to be used as fertilizers. So this is something quite out of the box, but we're trying to put this forward by raising awareness about this. So there's actually projects for this in Switzerland? Yes, absolutely. There's uh, projects on, on compost. I mean, most of us, we have compost at home, which smells a little bit, but you know, it's worth it. It's, it's worth doing this to manage your waste. All right. And so now we, do, we did letter S. Now let me show you letter T, which is technology. Check out this guy. I'll just cross over the line. This is a program which uses old ski boots to be used as raw materials for 3D printed materials. So essentially you take these ski boots, these are processed, and then you can pretty much print whatever you like. For example, this cool line here, but you can also print cables, you can print uh, machine parts. So all of this is a way of using technology to better manage waste. There's a lot of ski boots in Switzerland. There's a lot of ski boots, yes, but they're very difficult to recycle. And so this is what we're trying to showcase, that through technology we're able to recycle the, the, the most complex materials. And then we finished by E, education. This is a project we're showcasing, but which was done by Swiss and Lebanese students to not only develop better ways of managing waste, but also doing so by empowering youth. So we had a competition here a few months, ago, a few days ago. And so we have now the winning team, Plastic Cycle. They're from Lebanon. They're working with Swiss students and they're able to put in place their project, which is tackling plastic waste. So you see, a partnership with Lebanon. Exactly, exactly. And this is very important to us. It's not just about showcasing what we're, what we're good at, but it's also being proactive during the expo. This is something we, we're, a, we're able to host here. And so we're quite proud of, of us making a, a, a difference of this being a legacy for our presence here in Dubai. All right. So yeah. So you, you mentioned students. Uh, do you work with Swiss Next? Exactly. Is so, it a lot to do with startups also and stuff like that? So Swiss Next works mainly with Swiss universities, but also startups and innovative companies. It's kind of like spin-outs from universities sometimes, right? Yes, exactly. For example, we had a spin-off from the EPFL, which is a university in Lausanne, and they were able to showcase their technology in water management. So this is something we also put forward to. So they, they might be the next uh, Google or Facebook in Switzerland? Well, we hope so. We hope so to have a few unicorns ourselves. And we also, and our job here is to connect them with actors from the UAE. I mean, the UAE, Dubai is being a hotspot of innovation, uh, thanks to the Expo, obviously, but also in general. So our aim is to bring them here at the pavilion to not only showcase their technology, their ideas, their people, but also put them in, in contact with local partners and also other, par other national pavilions. Uh, because the UAE is in a very good partnership with Switzerland, right, for many years. Yes, thanks. Uh, absolutely. It's one of our most important trading partners. And now we're, we're exchanging even more in terms of education, research, innovation. And this is our job, our job here, is to connect even more with, um, with uh, Mirati universities and students. And what do we have here? The famous question, do we have chocolate? Oh, yes. So here we have Springli. It is one of the finest Swiss chocolate. We'll get to know more about it. And ending our Swiss journey on a sweet note. So let's get into Springli. Hi. What are people uh, ordering here? A bunch of chocolate? Actually, it is a chocolate shop and a coffee shop. So all Swiss will provide you with the most known Swiss chocolate. All right. Cool. OK, let's go. Let's go. OK. This looks too good. It's and dangerous too. And too now much. here we are in Al Wadi. Do you know what is Al Wadi? What, what does Al Wadi mean? 
uh, Al Wadi no. means valley in Arabic. Yeah. So here it is to combine both cultures from Swiss mountains all the way to Dubai. As we can see, these are real Bedouin tents to combine both cultures and heritage from culture of, mount of mountains of Switzerland all the way to desert. All right. And, um, Have you checked our Is this Swiss uh, nice car? the new uh, s s smart car? No, it is Microlino. It is Swiss made, it is an electric car. Nice. For short distance, because the research shows that we all use our cars for short distances. So, here it is. Microlino. Yep. Swiss made. Exactly. Swiss and here, design. Here also, uh, we, can, we can see that everything is, is sustainable. This concrete is recycled and uh, uh, the project of, of, uh, of concrete is, is to reduce the emission of CO2 in recycling the concrete. So we are trying to be sustainable in every single part and every single act we do here in the Swiss Pavilion. All right, and people can sit there. Exactly. And uh, there's more benches over there with uh, of course. Of uh, some course. famous Swiss people. Exactly, you've asked so, me about tennis, right? Yeah. So uh, at what time can I see Federer at the Expo 2020? Um, Is he coming? You can see him right now. Oh, he's there. Look behind you. Let's check. Roger. All right. I think he... Two more wishes hiding. to go. <laughs> hiding. This is right here, no? Oh! There. Okay. Hey! Ta-da! Roger. Okay. So, um, it'd be nice if you come to the actual pavilion. Of course. Of course. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, getting back. Uh, so there you're showing some highlights of some exactly. of the Exactly, so it is about uh, Sw uh, Swiss tourism. And we have here different QR codes that shows uh, different, different pages about Lucerne, Swiss tourism, and, and all the beautiful and amazing acts of Switzerland. All right. So now I have to ask you, do you feel you are at home? Yeah. Right perfect, here. perfect. Cool. So uh, it'd be nice to see more and more partnerships happening between uh, Switzerland of course. and all the different countries to, to make the world a better place. Of course, we are here to connect mind and to create the future as Expo's slogan. So we are all combining together, working together for a better future.